I'm sure that by this point, most people that have any interest in Star Wars have seen episodes 7 and 8 in the past two and a half years. No doubt that millions of audience members around the world are familiar with the new characters of Rey, played by Daisy Ridley, Finn, played by John Boyega, and Poe Dameron, played by Oscar Isaac. I'm Poe. The first act of The Force Awakens spends a great amount of time establishing the characters of Rey and Finn. The former being an orphan slave living on a trash junkyard sand planet known as Jakku, and the latter being a runaway stormtrooper who doesn't like to kill innocent people, which is kind of what the First Order does. Throughout the movie, we get to know Finn and Rey, and follow them through their adventures and perils, and by the climax of the film, we end up connected to them. The audience is familiar with them, and we were left anticipating the next installment of their stories. However, despite the fact that these two characters are so well established, the first of the three new main characters to have a speaking role in the film is Poe Dameron. I'm Poe! Poe Dameron! The thing is, we don't know anything about him, like, at all. And besides a few character traits that are sort of skim past the entire movie, Poe Dameron for the purpose of The Force Awakens is one hell of a pilot. That's one hell of a pilot! Woo now I don't mean to say that Poe Dameron is by any means the weakest character introduced in these new Star Wars movies. <clears throat> Oh, sorry about that. I had something stuck in my throat. But it's worth noting that Disney went through the trouble of marketing his character in the films, even though all he does in episode seven is blow stuff up and shoot people real good in his spaceship. Of course, he's not the center of the marketing. In fact, on the majority of the posters of both movies, Poe is just sort of there. Nothing about his size or position on the Force Awakens poster implies that he is as important to the story as Finn or Rey are, which is fair in the context of that film, but in The Last Jedi, Poe has a considerably larger amount of screen time. Even though Poe becomes such a central role in his storyline, the movie never really has a moment where we figure out anything about his past or who he is besides being the best pilot in the Resistance, who unfortunately also gets a lot of his fellow pilots killed in the opening battle of The Last Jedi. Oops, my bad you guys. Sorry, I was uh, too busy making your mama jokes at Hux to worry about, you know, keeping my entire squadron alive. My theory is that the screenwriters behind The Force Awakens wanted a trio of new characters, but then when it came time to give Poe a backstory, they got writer's block. So they got out their whiskey, you know, had a couple glasses, and then one thing led to another, and they finished making the movie and forgot to give him any character. Even in the numerous deleted scenes of both films, there's really nothing else to Poe as an individual. The bare minimum that you need to even give the slightest hint of depth to his character, aside from courage, would be to include a scene where he sort of gives a speech using an example of some tragedy from his past to motivate other resistance fighters or something like that. Something that doesn't just say, I am Poe Dameron, brave and persistent pilot man played by Oscar Isaac. I'm Poe. Given his rebellious actions on The Last Jedi, you'd think there'd be something more personal that would motivate him besides taking down the First Order. Everyone else is trying to do that too, but they got their own problems, all right? Throughout The Last Jedi, the only movie where Poe actually has a storyline and a character arc, all he really does is try to mutiny against the commander of the ship since she won't tell him what the hell is going on or what their plans are. In all the crazy hubbub and chaos of that long-winded movie, they couldn't be bothered to give Poe any depth. Sure, we can spend however long fucking around in Canto Bight and riding around on alien horses, but we don't have time to develop one of the main characters in this new trilogy besides the fact that Princess Leia likes him. Obviously, there's still an entire film that has yet to be made where we might get some insight into Poe's character and backstory, but as of now, all we know is that he's one hell of a pilot. That's one hell of a pilot! Woo of course, that's not to say that there's absolutely, positively, no backstory to Poe Dameron in any way, shape, or form. There's of course various literature that tells different stories from his past, including a book called Before the Awakening that covers him, Rey, and Finn, and a comic book series plainly named Star Wars, Poe Dameron. Someone's job is to make that comic book series. There's like two or three people that make that. That's, that's their job. I feel bad for them, but anyway. The thing is, unless you're a mega huge fan of Star Wars with a lot of expendable income, chances are you haven't read these comics. If you're like me, and you only know about Poe through the movies, then you know barely anything about him. However, no matter how flat or underdeveloped a character might be on screen in a Star Wars movie, there's always loads to say about them on the world's most coveted and respected source of Star Wars information, Wikipedia. Which is basically just like Wikipedia, in that anyone can edit it, but in this case it's a lot easier to make shit up. 
Not to say everything is made up. Of course, they had to check their sources, but I'm just saying. According to the site, Poe Dameron was born two years after the Battle of Yavin, which for some reason is how they measure the calendar in the Star Wars fandom. I, I don't know. He was the son of two random people that worked for the Republic. They weren't really around when he was a kid since they were serving the Rebellion in the Galactic Civil War, so he was raised by his grandfather. But when he was two, following the destruction of the second Death Star, the subsequent collapse of the Empire, his family reunited with him, and they raised him on Yavin 4. When he was six, he learned how to fly his mother's old A-wing ship. But two years later, tragedy struck his family when his mother died unexpectedly. Oh, hey, look at that. A dramatic backstory that could serve as motivation for Poe to become the best pilot in the Resistance, right? Eh, not really. The thing is, reading into it, I couldn't really find any details on how his mother died, just that she did at some point, and it made both him and his dad really sad. In the book Before the Awakening, it mentions his mother quite a bit, almost to the point where it gets obnoxious, but as far as we know, she just kind of died from expository parental death syndrome. So if this book can stress his admiration for his parents' bravery and their love for him, then why can't we get a single line about anything like this in the movies? The simple answer? They probably just don't give a shit. And I'm not saying that they'd need to dedicate like a whole subplot of the ninth movie to it or something like that. Just give us a couple of lines of dialogue. That's all we're asking. Just, just give us something, you know? I'm Poe. Basically, the rest of Poe's backstory is that he became a pilot after joining the New Republic and then later the Resistance, eventually ending up on a mission where he found himself retrieving a piece of a map to the location of the mysterious Luke Skywalker. Then the First Order showed up and, well, you know, the rest is in The Force Awakens. So his backstory is kind of vague and not very well defined, but it never appears outside of the expanded universe. All of this would be fine if his role was as minimal in The Last Jedi as it was in The Force Awakens, but that's just not the case. In fact, he's got so much going on in both movies that he doesn't even introduce himself to Rey until the end of The Last Jedi. I'm Poe. He's obviously a bigger part of this story than just another Resistance pilot, so the question remains, who is Poe Dameron? Well, we may never find out in the movies, but we know one thing for sure. That's one hell of a pilot! Woohoo! I'm Poe! Poe Dameron! I'm Poe.